welcome to the galaxy. Let's talk about text features, print, and graphic features. First of all, what are text features? Text features are included in informational text to give the reader more information about the topic. Let's dig a little deeper. Have you ever seen a timeline or an inset or maybe even a sidebar in informational text? Let's review what those are. A timeline. A timeline represents dates and events in chronological order. Let's look at an example of a timeline about Rosa Parks. Did you know that she was arrested for not giving up her seat on the bus in 1955? What a courageous woman. Next, let's talk about an inset. An inset is a small graphic inside or next to a larger graphic that magnifies part of the larger graphic. Let's see what that means. This is a map of, you guessed it, Texas. That is our larger graphic. We're going to zoom in on the town of San Antonio. How many of y'all have been to San Antonio? What did you see there? Most likely you saw the Alamo. This picture of the Alamo is our inset. It's our smaller graphic beside our larger graphic. Now let's talk about a sidebar. A sidebar gives us additional text that provides more information but is not part of the main body of a piece of writing. Let's look at an example. Here I have a paragraph about whales. And out to the side I see this green rectangle that tells me different types of whales. The green rectangle is the example of a sidebar. It gives us a little bit more information about whales that we didn't get from our paragraph. Let's practice. Here I see two paragraphs about good habits. And my question asks, the author most likely includes the sidebar to what? Well, where do you see the sidebar? If you said right there, you are correct. Why do you think the author included the sidebar? If you chose to give examples of good habits, you are correct. Good job. Well, what are print and graphic features? Print and graphic features are used in text to influence and communicate meaning of the text. It gives the reader more information about what the author is talking about. Let's talk about print features. Check out this magazine cover. Let's look at the word kids. What do you notice about that word? It is in colored print. That is one way that the author uses print features to catch the reader's attention. What about the word animals? What do you notice about that word? It is in bold print. Good job. Anybody notice the picture? Let's look at this picture. What do you think is going on there? Underneath the picture, it tells us, it says the monkey is shocked at what he sees. I wonder what he sees. Underneath the picture is the caption. The caption gives us a brief explanation of a picture. Look at the word shocked. What do you notice about that word? It is in italics. Italics is also a print feature. Now let's talk about graphic features. What about this cute little puppy? This is a photograph. The author might also use an illustration. An illustration is something that is drawn. The author may also include a graph to give more information or even a table. Good work today. Let's practice. It's the same two paragraphs from before, but the question says the author most likely uses bold print to what? Well, where do you see bold print? Right there in our title and also in our subtitle. Why do you think the author chose to bold those words? If you chose to emphasize the title and subtitle, you are correct. 
Good work today. Now you're ready to try it on your own. Good luck.